Our key products are the industrial tyres, the solid tyres as well as the press-on band tyres. The brands are the Bombcart, Performer, Globestar, Peakmaster and the Ultimate. It's used in the Roro trailers, the terminal trailers and the forklift machines as well. Our key markets are currently in uh, Rotterdam, Netherlands, Belgium, uh, in the US, in Long Beach, San Pedro, in Seattle, and in Asia it's in Singapore and that's extremely recent. The main test that we undergo is the endurance test, which is a tyre test machine. But as we are an ISO 9001-2008 company, a raw material is tested for rheological properties and the compound, once it's produced, is also tested. And once the tyres are built, it goes through an ultrasonic test to see the air bubbles inside the tyres. And also we do a hardness testing to see the curing properties of the tyre. And finally, the endurance test is done, which is a destructive test to ensure that the tyre heat buildup is checked as well as the lifetime of the tyre. The 2008 downturn, I think, is a critical moment for us to understand about capacity management. Industrial tyre manufacturers such as ourselves operate capacity based on supply and demand. And based on what we've learned through uh, the 2008 recession and coming out of it, I think capacity management is the key tool that we need to understand. Besides that is the over-reliance on the key markets in the world. So the constant focus on markets such as Europe and USA. I think there should be far more diversification looking at the BRIC areas, for example, Brazil, Russia, India, China. And I think those are important. And I think that's one of the key lessons we've learned. We're always affected by cheaper products emanating from the Far East especially. But Sri Lanka is the largest producer of industrial tyres in the world and Sri Lanka has 60% of the global market of the industrial tyre business. So when you talk about port applications, it, you need to send your tyres to rigorous testing and you need the high performance products. So even if the price is cheaper, if it does not perform in the application, then nobody can have access to that market. So due to that, we feel that our products coming in from the GRI factory is far superior than any other product that comes out. Our key growth areas right now are basically the Middle East, Russia, Asia, South America and South Africa. And that tends to be because we've been over resilient over the larger economies such as the United States and Europe. The major challenge, or I guess the single biggest challenge we face in supplying tyres to container terminals is the time period that they have the contracts for. The contracts typically run anything from two to three years. So when you look at the rigorous testing which is involved, which can take anything from six months to nine months, and a contract period which is locked with somebody else for two to three years, that's the single biggest challenge we face.